Hey, what's up everyone? Zilleka here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create this video gallery website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Before directly dive right into the design part, let me show you the features of this video gallery website that we are going to design right now in this video. Alright, here we have, so when you click this here we have the video the video has its auto control so you can control everything this just like a youtube video right so again when you click over here this video play automatically but the sound is muted right so you can increase or decrease the so audio volume right here. One question: so, Are you new to this channel? If so, and here is the channel. sound. We are going to upload For this video, daily programming related video, just like website development, artificial intelligence, machine learning, database, and much more. If this sound is interesting, make sure to subscribe and like while I come out. Just like this one. It's all about the video. You see, Julia. So again, when you click over here, you can play this just like this one. And then when you refresh the web page, this video plays automatically. So again, you can zoom out this video in a full screen mode, right? So again, when you click over here, you can control the speed for this video, right? So over here you can increase or decrease the video playing speed right here. So again, you can play this video in picture to picture mode right here. You see? You can play this video in picture to picture mode, right? Let me show you again when you click picture to picture mode, right? Here we are. So when I drag this video right here, you can increase or decrease the size, or you can move and play on a place that you are interested in. So you can control everything just like a YouTube video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create such a video gallery website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait a second. Before you start this video, let me ask one question. Are you new to this channel? If so, in this channel, we are going to upload a daily programming related video just like website development, artificial intelligence, machine learning, database, and much more. If this sound is interesting, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell icon to be notified while I come out a daily programming training video just like this one. Having said that, let me jump right into today's tutorial. Enjoy! Here we have the project folder, video gallery. Inside this folder, we have style.css document and an index.html document right here. And then here we have a video folder right here. In this video folder, we have different videos like this that we will use to design this video gallery. So, having this folder, now let's jump through my code editor. In this case, I'm going to use Sublime Fix and then open the folder right here. So, here we have the folder. Inside this folder, we have a video gallery folder right here. So, select and select this folder right here. After that, here we have index.html and style.css. So, come over here into index.html and then here we have the basic HTML document right here. So now, let me write the title for this project. Make a video gallery website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now, link this type of CSS 
with an HTML document using a link tag right here. So style.css. Alright. Now inside the body tag, we are going to create a div element having a class name continuer. Inside this div element, we are going to create another div element having a class name full video. Inside this, we are going to nest a video element right here. So this video element take a source attribute. Inside this source attribute, we are going to add the video location right here. So here we have the video folder. Inside this video folder, we have video1.mp4. Here we have another property, muted. So when I save and refresh, here we have, right? Here we have the video. But as you see here, there is no control over this video. So to do this, we are going to add another attribute right here, controls. So now let me save and refresh. So when I save and refresh, here we have, right? So here we have a video control right here. So you can open this video. You can create the sound for this video or decrease the sound for this video using a control attribute. And then you can decrease or increase the playing speed for this video right here. And then you can Place this video in picture to picture mode or whatever you want using control attribute. Over here, when I save and refresh, the video not play automatically. So to play the video automatically, we are going to add another attribute which is autoplay right here. Another property, autoplay property right here. When you save and refresh, the video play automatically back. The sound is muted due to having a muted attribute right here. So again, outside of this full video, we are going to create another development having class name playlist video. So inside this, we are going to nest a video element right here having a class name play video. Inside this source attribute, we are going to locate the file path right here. So video2.mp4 and then copy this attribute right here and paste right here. And then again, remove this autoplay attribute. So having this copy and paste three times right here. Now change the file name. So save and refresh. When we see here, the first video play automatically, but the rest are not playing automatically since there is no an autoplay attribute inside these video elements. To show it clearly, when we add an autoplay attribute right here, and then when I save and refresh, you see all the video play automatically right here. You see? So it is not necessary for this. So it's better to remove an autoplay attribute right here. And then this is an HTML path. Now let's dive right into to style this video. So here you have an HTML and body shape element selector right here. And the first property, let me say display flex. Align items, center, justify content, also center. So when I save and refresh, here we are. And then again, using this class selector container, using this class selector container, background, white, display, flex, width, let me say 900 pixel, and height, let me say, 400 pixel and then margin top let me say 60 pixel so having this save and refresh here we have over here let me add a background property right here 
having a linear gradient background color right here start from left to right here is it okay let me change this background color and again when i save and refresh here we have so copy this and paste right here and remove this property value pair and now using this class here lecture full video with 75 percent adding a pixel and then outline none now again copy this and paste right here and then using this video in the material lecture right here video let me change the width into 100 percent object fit cover oh let me say cover so again copy this and come over here and paste right here and then using this class lecture playlist video copy this class lecture right here and change this full video class selector by playlist video selector and then change the width over here into 20 percent and leave the rest as it is and then over here again change this full video class selector by playlist video class selector and then here we have playlist video selector and video element selector right here so when i save and refresh here we have right so as you see here the background color is not in full width so to solve this problem come over here from HTML and body selector and then using this property value pair head 100 person 100 viewport head and width 100 person right so having this when i save and refresh here we have nice so again now let me add a hover over effect over this playlist video so copy this to do this copy this and paste right here and add a pseudo class selector over here hover and come over here and opacity let me say the opacity before hovering 0.5 and then copy this opacity and come over this and paste right here and change the opacity from 0.5 to 1 when you hover over the mouse over this playlist video right here you see a nice so now let me add a cursor effect over here cursor pointer so copy this and paste right here now when i save and refresh okay here we are right so this is the html and the css part now let me add an interactivity over this video gallery so to do this we are going to use java screen let's dive right into it Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring yeah. Just want a life that is worth every day exploring yeah. My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be 
Yeah, I just wanna be 